of the boat is called the stern, and it's where these two engines are. And each engine turns one of these. It's a propeller, and the propeller spins in the water to push the lifeboat along really fast. You should never play near water or boats without a grown-up, but I've got special permission to go on board today. Wow, look! There is lots of equipment to help the lifeboat crew find and rescue people quickly. This is a chart plotter. It's a map of the river. And if you look here, you can see our position just there. And this is a compass. A compass shows the lifeboat which direction they're travelling in. North, south, east or west. Sometimes it can be tricky for the lifeboat crew to spot people in the water, especially if it's at night, so they use a special camera to help them. It sits right up here at the back of the boat. It's called a thermal imaging camera. But how does a thermal imaging camera work? I think we need to take a closer look. When the lifeboat is sent out on a rescue mission, the thermal imaging camera is switched on. The camera measures thermal energy. That's either how hot, like our bodies, or cold, like the sea something is. It can see the thermal energy during the daytime and at night. The camera can be moved up and down, left and right, using a lever called a joystick. The picture from the camera is seen on a screen on board the boat. The hotter something is, the more heat or thermal energy it gives off. Our bodies are warm and give off lots of heat, and the camera will show this as a whitish grey colour. The river water is cold. This camera shows cold as red. So if a person is in trouble in the water, they can be spotted on the thermal camera and the lifeboat crew can rescue them. Well, today, the lifeboat crew are doing a practice rescue and they've given me permission to go with them, but to do that, I have to wear the right safety equipment. Because today is a practice rescue, Paul, one of the lifeboat crew members, is going to go in the water and he's trained to do this. But so that we can see what the rescue looks like from the water, I'm going to put my special camera onto Paul's helmet. If this was a real rescue, the team would get a message from the Coast Guard and quickly get the boat out to sea. It's pushed into the water by a tractor until the water is deep enough to float in. We're on our way to go and find Paul. He's out there somewhere. Look, there's Paul. Can you see him on my special camera? Let's see how quickly the lifeboat crew can find him. using the chart plotter and the compass so that we go in the right direction in the water. And it looks like we're heading east. It is so fast. Can you see the two engines? They've lowered the propellers into the water. Woo! We're just spinning around to push the lifeboat along quickly. They're noisy, aren't they? <laughs> controlling the thermal imaging camera at the back of the boat to see if he can find Paul in the water. And this screen is showing us the picture from the camera. The river is so big, it's really hard to look for Paul with my own eyes. But the thermal camera can see Paul's warm body. Look, 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 can you see that on the screen? I think I can see something. Looks like a white blob, doesn't it? We found Paul. The crew are trained to lift people safely and quickly onto the boat. Paul is safely on the boat with the help of special safety equipment. 